Well, I've been putting it off long enough. It is about time where we actually go to Fontaine on Fontaine only. We have seven days. We have a week before this disappears and I'm going away for a couple days soon so I won't have a ton of time. So I just figured why not we'll get it done. I already did Natlan on supports only so that's all, all caught up there and I'm gonna do all of Fontaine, Bedtime Story and Natlan all today. And once we've done this, then I'll be pretty well caught up and I shouldn't need to do any super, super long quest videos anymore. As long as I keep somewhat up to date with the new quests, I'll just do them in videos, probably just pulling videos when I pull for characters. I'll just do the newest quests and I don't have to do any of these 10 hour quest spamming videos, which are never fun. Until I inevitably start a new account and then I have to do it all over again. We don't have any new characters for next update because Chiori is coming out and Chiori is not a Fontaine character. She lives in Fontaine, does a lot of work in Fontaine. However, she is from Inazuma and you can easily tell that because if you look at her vision, where is it there? Her vision has the Inazuma thing with the three little circles on it. While if you look at a Fontaine character, where's Navia's vision? Or even is Navia's vision. But if you look at a Fontaine character, like Risley, you see he has the two little circle things on the top of his vision. So that's basically how I'm telling if a character is a Fontaine character or not. That is also why Alakino is not a Fontaine character, because she has the Schneznaya vision casing. So that's my pretty simple way to tell if a character is from Fontaine or not. Let's just look at their vision. That means we only need five more Fontaine characters. Four of them are five stars. That's pretty good. But yeah, next update, we have more saving to do. So we keep saving and then hopefully we get shush. Hopefully we get like Risley or someone like that next update. And we could probably pull for a signature weapon then because we already have like 80 something pulls. Anyway, let's get into this very long and painful bit of quests. We we're going to be here for way too long, but yeah. Let's get into it. And with that, we leave Sumeru, and after, I think, eight months of having this account, we finally go to Fontaine. Oh, yes, wait, before we continue, I saw a bunch of your guys' comments on the last video where we built Nouvellette. I have changed up his artifacts. He is now running the crit damage circlet because I forgot that this increases your crit rate. So he's now sitting at... 48 to 259 and when this does its thing he'll be sitting at somewhere around 60 ish percent crit rate so he has good stuff now good stats they're much nicer rather than before where he would have had over 100 percent crit rate and with that we are finally done with the 10 quintillion years worth of random little quest stuff we have to do at this harbor uh well here is the one of i think four times where we are forced into another character and because i've already done this on support only, i can tell you there's no other way to get around this i've tried a bunch of stuff on supports only and there's this fight then there's two fights we're forced into kachini kachini kachina and muolani and then one we're forcing into kachina and i think that's it hopefully but uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do. I already tried to get around these and the ones in Natland. There's nothing we can do. The only thing I could think of was like a gadget that did damage, but that doesn't really exist, I don't think. So yeah, there's nothing we can really do. There might have been some really weird way with like disconnecting internet or something like that. But just from like experience with messing around with it before and watching other people try to break the game, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a very doable thing. I say this every time. If it was a puzzle, I could get around it. When you're forced into a character during the story, there isn't really too much you can do about it. Oh goodness, I am blind. Navia's vision is... it's right there. How did I not see that before? It is... that is so obvious. And just like that, the first act of Fontaine is done. We're about an hour 20 into this, so yeah, this should... Take us about two hours and then got another four or so to finish off Fontaine. Something like that. Okay, let's get this started. Act two. I f didn't see the name of it, but Navia's story quest has begun. Let's get into this. Ooh, child cutscene. 
He ha always has some of the coolest fights. Whenever we get a fight scene with Tartag, it's always generally pretty cool. Also, any cutscene with Nuvalet in it is also a really, really cool cutscene. And there we go. Chat act note. Bleh. Act two is done. That took just shy of. Oh my goodness, we're getting a lot of stuff. That took just shy of an hour. And why that was happening, we just got our last gift for the free 10 pool. So now we have even more pools. We have 10,000 Primo Gems. There we go. Act 3 has started. I thought I already unlocked the Fortress of Meripede on this account. That means then I shouldn't have a problem with Unfinished Comedy. Because if Unfinished Comedy hasn't gone to the Fortress of Meripede, which it doesn't look like I've been there on this account, which I really thought I had, but apparently not, then uh, that means that we shouldn't have a problem with that quest. So that'll save at least another hour or so. Apparently we've got a Hydro Traveler constellation at some point. That just makes her burst slightly more useful because it doesn't disappear in two seconds. Oh yes, perfect. Continue current quest. We do not want to do unfinished comedy. Thank you. We are sticking to this quest. Unfinished comedy will come later. Oh, uh, act three is done. Okay. I uh, stopped paying attention to the quest about 20 minutes into that. That was about another hour as well. Uh, okay, awesome. Well, there is zero commentary for that bit of the quest because I was uh, not even paying attention for most of it. So now we've got the next bit of this. Act 4. This is the last bit of the Fortress of Meripede, which has some pretty cool cutscenes and stuff in it. Well, as you can see, we've already made pretty decent progress with this second part of the Fortress of Meripede quest. We're now two and a half hours in after the first one, so Navi is questing the other two. We are two and a half hours after that because I stopped the recording for a second, but I think Navi was the first one was about an hour and a bit. So we are about like three to four hours in, I think, so far. We still have probably about half an hour left of this quest. And then two-ish hours left of Fontaine. Bedtime stories about half an hour, 20 minutes. And that lands about three hours. Or two hours 40, I think. So we've got about five and a half hours basically left of quests, which is not very fun sounding. I think it would have been cool with Fremenet if when he was swimming, he actually put on his like diving mask thing that we see him use in his idle animations. I think it'd be really cool if, you know, when he's diving, his model changes so he has that mask on. This ship looks like so much smaller in this little, you know, part of the scene here, part of the quest, than it does when you actually, when it actually you know, comes out of the water. When it comes out of the water, it looks huge, like absolutely giant. But in there, it looks, I don't know, pretty small. Like it doesn't look huge. And there we go. Just over four and a half hours and act four is done. That means that the Hydro Traveler can have another constellation. She is now C3. No messing around. Let's get the last very long bit of the quest that takes like two hours. Let's get it done. It is definitely the best part of the Fontaine quest, as they tend to be. The last acts tend to be the best acts of any quest. They are always the longest, and they keep getting longer. So let's get comfy i guess because we're gonna be here for another two or so hours just to finish off fontaine well there's the first quote unquote part of this quest done there's the whole navi a part of the quest the poisson and all that bit then this is a little interaction with mona and then we go into the second quote unquote part of the quest where we are scheming against farina i guess is probably the best way to put it and we are now about five hours into questing. Oh, thank God. I didn't look at the, the quest name. I just figured that the Archon quest would be the top one. So I clicked on this and went, oh, oh no, look at all that stuff we need to do. And then I realized that that's Perilous Trail and we can't do this because we just need to do the Steambird interview one. And now we move on to the third quote unquote part of the... Masquerade of the Guilty Quest. This is the Farina trial bit, and this is the the good bit with all the really good story and all that stuff. 
Also, the bit that takes the longest is the most annoying because it's, you know, a trial and you have all that. You've got to piece together the bits of information and whatever it takes. 10 billion decades. We're about five and a half hours into this so far. So this would be around half an hour-ish, maybe. So six hours we should be done with it, which is pretty good. That's two hours quicker than we managed to do it last time. Last time being on sports only. As this is a cutscene with child in it, it is a cool cutscene. Because as I mentioned before, any cutscene with child fighting is a cool cutscene. To be fair, any cutscene in Genshin is a cool cutscene, but especially the ones with child fighting are especially cool for some reason. And now we get the depressing bit, which has become less and less depressing the more I've done this quest. It now just becomes annoying because it's more part of the quest they have to do. Though that being said, it is still the best bit of Fontaine's Archon Quest. Not that I'm really enjoying this part of the quest because I'm almost six hours into recording straight in one go. So there's not much that's going to make me enjoy quests at the moment. Why are we getting the really cool animations now? I don't see the, the colors going on with this. I love this and I want my game to look like it, but I don't know how you do it. Because it just randomly pops up in some of these you know, quests and stuff. And I, I want my game to look like that. It looks so cool. I guess almost oversaturated kind of look. I don't really know. But you can obviously tell the difference between the two. And I love how this looks. I don't know how to make my game permanently look like it though. And I really want to make my game permanently look like it. So uh, yeah, if anyone knows, please let me know. Because I, I want that it looks cool. It might not be something you can do as a permanent thing. I really hope it is because I love the look of it. But I think it is a permanent thing or can be. Because I've, I've seen people playing Genshin with that sort of look to it and I just don't know how it's done but I want to figure out how it's done because I love the look of it as I've said like eight times already oh no okay um this might be a problem because hydro resistance but oh well we'll see what happens haha uh -huh. she is so cool she just turned a whale into a black hole and then proceeds to yeet the black hole and child do another black hole I'm assuming she's another one of the descenders or descendants or whatever it is, like the travelers, the both the travelers are descendants. I'm assuming she's another one of them, because look at her design. That's that looks nothing like someone from Tavat. This is the one bit that makes no really makes no really that doesn't really make sense to me, because one, how did that water just rise so quickly, and two, how does it disappear so quickly? Also, big boat. See, this is what I mean when I said earlier on how, like, look how much bigger that boat looks now that it's in the actual quest rather than in the Fortress of Meripede when it's getting built. Here it looks so much bigger. I think it's probably because it has context here. You have the little boats to see, you know, how big the, that boat is compared to the little ones. Well, in the Fortress of Meripede, there's no context to see how big it is. See, how the hell is that going down so quickly? That doesn't make sense. It was at the top of the wall of the that, that place. It was at the top of that. And now it's back to normal in like two minutes. Because, you know, that's definitely possible and makes a whole load of sense. And there we go. Fontaine is done, finally. That means Fontaine only has caught up with Fontaine after like eight months of having this, so it took long enough, but oh well. Also, Traveler is now at C4. That took us a pretty decent six and a half hours. I think it is quicker than last time we did this, so that's good, but still six and a half hours for quests is, yeah. Now we jump into bedtime story and get this done, and then we just got Natlan. We have enabled force experience mode, so we're not going to get interrupted by anything else. Let's go do bedtime story. And we have arrived at a very, very pretty place that we only get to go to in the story. Okay, and now, just like that, bedtime story is done. That took us almost bang on 34 minutes, so not too bad. Now, we just have Natlan, which I don't really want to do because I did yesterday. Like, actually, this, this same time yesterday. But, uh, it's probably best we do it anyway and just get it done. I might only get the first act of it done. I'm not really sure. It depends how much quests I want to do today. 
But I might only get the first act done and then I'll come back into the second act tomorrow. Let's get stuck into Natlan. Well, even though we just came to Fontaine, it is time to say goodbye. Natlan awaits. You know what also awaits? Pain, because they force us into so many Natlan characters all of the time. And it's so annoying because I can't use them. But there's no way to get around it if I have to use them. Well, let's just look into this. Chapter 5, Act 1. Let's go. Hey, look at that. Free Kachina. Super useful. She's new, actually, so it is, I guess, somewhat useful. Because we can grab a free pool from that. Which is going to get us a five-star weapon. Yeah, not not quite. That's that's a three-star weapon. Ah, uh, yes, I did get my little Saurian thing, and as you can see, I've named this one Chicken Nugget because I don't know why not. I got three of them in my three accounts. My main account one is Little Guy. This one's Chicken Nugget, and then the one on Support Only, which I didn't mention when I did that Natlan on there. That one is, I think I just called that one Potato. There was not much thought put into them. Although, from what I've seen other people name, name the little guy, yeah, mine aren't that bad. There's some whack names out there. Now, this is the part of the quest where we are forced into Kachina and Mulani. As I just did this yesterday on Fontaine. No, support only. I can tell you there's no way around it. I've already said this like eight times this one video, so you get the point. I will try to do as little as I can with the characters, which is what I'll try to do if I am forced to use one of the characters. I try to fight as little as I can with it. So no, there's like a little landmine thing to the first fight. So I can do a couple little things to try to not do as much damage with the characters, but we are going to have to use them whether we like it or not. Now we're going to spawn in a bunch of enemies here. Awesome. Everyone come this way. Yeah, we got a little bit of damage, but yeah, as I said, that we're not going to be able to get away without having to use these characters, so yeah. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Now, this is what I mean. We don't need to fight those guys, so I am not going to fight them. Same with these guys here. We don't need to fight them. They're just kind of fighting themselves, actually, but yeah, we don't need to fight them. So, we leave. Well, there's all the fighting for this part of the quest done. I tried to keep it to a minimum. We only had to fight the enemies we needed to fight. So that's better than nothing. That just leaves us with two more times we are forced into characters. We have the Kachina fight where we've got to fight two people there. And then in the Night Kingdom where they force us into Kachina and Mulani again. Well, here is the first of two fights where we're forced into Kachina again. As I said numerous times, can't get out of it. Just accept reality. That's a Scaramouche line. There is battle numero uno done. And there we go. Battle number two is done. That just leaves us with one more time where we are forced into characters we can't use. Now, cool cutscene. And we wrap up the first part of the quest. Then we just have that little bit with Mulani. And that is the first act done. I will probably leave it there for today and then I'll come back tomorrow and just finish that last act just because I've already done close to eight hours of quests today, probably even more. I'm not, you know, super interested in doing tons more quests today. Well, there we go. Act one is completed. Well, as I said, I'm going to do the second act tomorrow because it's late now and I don't want to do any more quests. So we've done almost eight hours of quests, I'd say. Which, honestly, considering the fact that it took us eight hours just to do Fontaine on supports only, that's not bad, actually. Although we did have to do unfinished comedy on there, which did add quite a bit of time. So, yeah, I shall see you all tomorrow. Okay, we have returned. It is the next day. Let's get stuck into this last bit of the Archon Quest. And there we go. We have saved Kachina. And now we are forced into another fight where we can't use the characters but we can't do anything else so we have to use the characters luckily though this is the last one we'll have to do at least for this archon quest hopefully we don't have any in the next one but we shall see at least for this archon quest this is the last fight we're forced into characters we can't use now milani goes super saiyan and we get the hell out of here and then to wrap up 
the Night Kingdom stuff, we get Mavweka being the coolest Archon ever. Oh, there we go. We are done. All of the current Archon quest across all three of my accounts is all done. I am all caught up to everything. Obviously, we're going to have to do the newest one when it comes out in like a week. But yeah, we'll get around to that. I won't need to do any of these really, really long videos anymore. It'll just be an hour or two thrown in in some other videos to get it done. Which, oh, thank God. Well, that has been now nine and a half hours of just quests in under a day. I am, yeah, very sick of quests, especially spamming through them. So, a uh, good thing we have at least a week before I need to do some more spamming through quests. But, uh, yeah, finally we're done with that. That is very painful, and I'm very glad that I won't need to do that anymore. But with that done, we can now claim these 500 primos, which is going to go towards our, I'm assuming, Risley funds, because he's probably going to be the next Fontaine character. We also have a very large amount of these to claim, because we have all of Sumeru's, plus Bedtime Story, plus the two for Natlan, which will give us a total of eight pools, I'm pretty sure. Then we do have a couple more of those we can get, but those are from... Perilous Trail and Wanderers one, which, yeah, not gonna deal with them right now because I do not want to. Now we have a very nice 11,000 Primo Gems, plus 31 Intertwined Fates, giving us a very nice total of 102 pulls. Saved up for the next Fontaine character. That will go up by quite a bit as well because we have another update to save. So we'll, we should have like 150 odd pulls when the next Fontaine character comes out. So we will be very, very set for pulls for them. Which I'm assuming is going to be Risley. So we'll get him and his signature weapon. I need to get all this edited now. So that's going to be fun to go through nine and a half hours of footage. But yippee, I'm looking forward to that. One last thing we need to do before I end this. Uh, look at all these achievements. We have loads and loads of achievements. So now we get to the most satisfying and also longest process of just going through and claiming every single one of these. It did bring us, I think, maybe a couple hundred primos more. So huge increase. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Bye.